Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a video using the Laura Lee Los Angeles Cat's Pajamas palette. This was supposed to be a talk through in that free view, but somehow my camera wasn't plugged in again. Super frustrating. I will put more about this in the description bar. So today is going to be a voiceover, unfortunately, but some like at some moment you will see me talking, but that's just because there's no sound. So that's why I'm talking right now. <laughs> so right now I'm priming my eyelids and I use the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I always use this one, I really like it. And then after applying I'm setting it with this Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in the shade Vanilla, which comes in their powder contour kit. Then I'm going to apply some shadow guards because today I'm going for a dramatic cut crease. And using a eyeshadow guard I just find it really helpful to make it more easy. Then I'm going to use the shade Okie Doki and I'm using my MAC 2 for 2 brush and I'm going to press this right underneath the eyebrow. So the first thing I notice is that this is quite a highly pigmented eyeshadow which I really like for light shades because I really like to use like full covered shades for underneath the brow. Then I'm going to use this light brown shade. I'm going to blend this all over my crease. I really want it to be a lot of this product in my crease, so I'm just going to blend it all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. Then I switch my brush into a more fluffy brush, just to kind of make it more blown out, if that makes sense. I just wanted the shade to be everywhere. Then I'm going in with the shade Cray Cray, which is slightly warmer and also slightly darker. I'm taking a blending brush which has more of a precise point and really focusing in that crease. So this shade I don't want to be like all over the place like I did with the previous shade. But this one I want to be like a little bit more focused in my crease to give a little bit more definition, warmth and darkness. Then I'm going to take the shade Oddball which is like a matte black shade. Super pigmented, I swatched it on my finger like the day before filming this and I couldn't even get it off my finger. So it's really intense. I used a Morphe M507 brush to create a sort of line in my crease. And then to blend it out, I'm going in with this reddish burgundy shade and I'm going to blend this around the edges to make it blend into the shades I applied before, like the brown cray cray shade. Um, and why I applied the darkness is because I really want this to be more of a dramatic smoke eye. I just want to show you like what you can do with this palette. So now I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC15. And I'm going to apply this over my eyelid and also right below my crease to create a very sharp effect. And let me know in the comments if you want to see me do more videos using this palette. For my first look I just wanted to do like my signature cut crease. Something dramatic because there are already so many videos using this palette online. And uh, most of them are like more neutral looks. So I wanted to do like the most dramatic look that came in my mind. Then I'm going to use this Okie Doki shade again. And I'm going to apply a little bit of that in my inner corner area. Just to kind of brighten it up. And I want to create a sort of ombre. So that's why I'm starting with this light shade. Then I'm going to take this light golden shade. Applying this like next to that white shade and I also sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus spray on my brush to make it wet so it's looking a little bit more metallic. Um, I always do this, this has nothing to do with this palette but I just really like to do this with metallic eyeshadows. Then I'm going to take the shade Redonculus, applying this in the middle part of my eyelid. Again I made my brush a little bit wet to get a little bit more pigmentation. Also applying it slightly on top of that light golden shade to kind of make these shades uh, blend into each other. I also used my finger just to try out if that gave more pigmentation, but it was kind of looking the same. Then I'm going in with that reddish burgundy shade again, pressing this in my outer V area, um, slightly on top of that redonculus eyeshadow uh, to give it a different twist. <laughs> it kind of gives gets more of a reddish color since I'm applying it on top of it and then I'm going to use that matte black shade applying this in my crease no not in my crease in my outer V and trying to blend it up a bit upwards to the darkness I have blended in my crease and since I have already applied it there it's really easy to connect my crease with my eyelid then I'm using the MAC mixing medium pressing this softly on the eyelid then I'm taking this MAC Reflex Gold Glitter and pressing this right on top of it. I will mention all the details on what products I used in the description bar in case you're curious like what the exact name is or the exact color. 
and I'm using my MAC 242 brush. I just wanted to use some glitter just to give this look an extra twist. Of course, this is not necessary. If you like it without glitter, you can recreate it without glitter. Now I'm taking my Inglot Black Gel Eyeliner and I applied a little bit of their Duraline because my eyeliner got dried out. And someone gave me the tip to use the Duraline uh, in the gel eyeliner to make it creamy again. And this really worked, so thank you for the tip. And now I removed my shadow shield and I'm using that line that like the shadow guard left me with a line. I'm using it as a guideline to where apply the cat wing. I feel like this is really helpful like as a sort of trick to know where to place it. Then I'm going to my face. I'm going to use the Embryolisa face cream and I'm going to apply this all over my face except for my T-zone because in my previous video I really liked how it looks but it did look, make me look a little bit oily. So in my T-zone I'm going to use the Benefit Cosmetics Professional and I'm just softly pressing this in my skin uh, also trying to make hopefully that this will make me more matte in my T-zone. Then for my foundation, I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I'm using this in the shade Barcelona. Um, I know my skin on my face is a little bit lighter, but this shade does match with my body, so I don't think that's like a huge problem. Then to contour my face, I'm going to use this Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep. Going to apply a little bit of dots on my forehead and a little bit on underneath my lips. Then to highlight, I'm using the Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape in the shade Light Sand. I do feel like this shade might be a little bit too light for me, so normally I would use the light medium, um, but I really wanted to have like a bright highlight effect. That's why I went in with a shade which is lighter, um, but I do feel like light medium matches a little bit more with my skin. So I blended this in with my Beauty Blender. Now I applied some eyeliner right below my cat wing because it was looking a little bit messy somehow. Then to set my concealer, I'm going to use the Anastasia Balil's Vanilla Powder, um, same as I used for setting my eyeshadow primer. Then to kind of make my skin more glowy, I'm using this Natasha Denona palette, applying a little bit on my cheekbones and my forehead. And then let's finish the eyes. I'm using this Sigma Longwear Eye Pencil to make my waterline smoky and black. Also tight lining my upper lashes. And then I'm going in with that matte black shade again. I'm pressing this right underneath your lower lash line. Also kind of pressing this like right on top of my waterline to really connect the black eyeshadow below my eyes with the eye pencil because I don't want any skin to show in between. Then I'm going to use the shade Cray Cray and I'm just going to blend this all the way underneath your lower lash line to smoke out and to kind of make this blend into the uh, black eyeshadow. Now I applied my mascara and lashes off camera and I used the Lily Lashes in the style Ila. And um, I used my tweezer, of course, to press this against my lash line and also use my fingers to kind of make it more tight. So this is how the lashes look on the eyes. And this is also the end result of the eyes. But I'm first going to finish the face makeup. I'm using this contour kit from Natasha Denona. I will mention the name in the description bar. I'm going to contour my face. I applied a little bit on my cheekbones, underneath my jawline, on my forehead, of course, a little bit on my ears, and underneath the lips to make my upper lip appear a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to use this diamond blush kit from Natasha Denona using that gorgeous highlighter, which is so pretty. It really melts into the skin. Applying it on my cheekbones, forehead, above my lips. And then I'm going to use the blush, which comes in the same palette, using a Sigma blush brush and just applying this on the apples of my cheeks and blending it up a bit higher so it blends in the highlighter. Now to set everything, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Prep Priming Spray. Um, this will make my skin look super pretty and gluey. Gluey? Glowy. <laughs> then for my lips, I'm going to use this new Suifa lip liner. Um, I received a PR packaging and they came out with lots of lip liners. And I feel like this shade in particular really matches with the liquid lipstick that I'm going to use today. Um, I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and use this soft lilac Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. This is not a shade that I would normally go for. I really tend to go for more nude shades. But yeah, I really like the choice. I think it looks really pretty with the eyes. It's not too like too dark. The focus still goes to the eyes, I think. 
So yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed, even though this was a voiceover. I'm so disappointed that my microphone wasn't completely plugged in because this was one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed. I went so in depth, I explained everything so well, so it's so disappointing to see that all the sound just wasn't there but for my next video i will learn i will check my microphone twice because this is not going to happen to me again ever but yeah i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy that will mean the world and i hope to see you in my next video bye guys